hi everyone welcome back i hope y'all are doing great today today we're going to be decorating our flip book um it is a bird since i'm i don't want to say i'm going with this but it has the postcard and birds on there so i thought we would do some travel stuff and i've already started decorating it so i took one of these cards that it folds over so i glued this down i'm putting this washi tape on here as more of decoration um than anything else it's supposed to you know i just want to kind of look like this washi tape is holding it down which we know washi tape is not that capable of doing i am using the design team washi tape that i was received that i received in my design team package and no knocks to the design team i just you know washi tape is it needs reinforcement and then i did on the back what i did is i like this one it's thick wide enough and it's real sticky um not like sticky because i've got boo-boo washi where it sticks on itself it sticks to the paper so but just to reinforce it what i did is i took washi tape and i put a strip on the top and the back and i started with this one first you have that and it's all travel themed it says let's travel this one says travel itinerary this one has one, two, three, four through eight. And I guess those are the stops that you may go to. And this one says shopping, shipping, London, New York, Paris, Tokyo. And it says bicycle guided tour. And this one says city of departure. And then we have this camera. And now what I was trying to work on is I was trying to make a flip out of a flip. So what I did is I took some tape. Nope, I took a sheet of paper, glued it down, and I took the washi and put it over. But I'm going to let that dry because I don't know if it's going to work. I also pulled out some stampy stamps. And this is um, called, what is this called? For the Birds. I got some council um, stamps right here. And I got the camera. You know, not all those that wonder are lost. And I like that saying a lot because sometimes people think that never mind anyway we're going to use this bird right here i believe i'm just using some martha stewart ink and i'm going to stamp it right here that looks okay i guess <laughs> i guess i want to stamp it once more I think I'll stamp it right at the bottom. I was really looking for, I have, I think I have, well, I know, but I didn't do a good look for them. But I was thinking about using the Tim Holtz, because I thought I had a bird stamp with Tim Holtz, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that aspect. And I'm going to stamp right off of this, because I don't want to get that bush that much. All right, so we got the bird. And I don't want the... The stamps don't have to be perfect, um, only because I kind of want to look a little bit aged, if that makes any sense. Now I'm just going to clean my stamp real quick. Okay, so now I'm just trying to do a collaging of stamps, I guess, would be a good word for it. So I took happiness, imagine, and dream. I was going to use create, but I changed my mind because... I am trying to stick with like one thing and create, in my opinion, makes sends the message of try something, you know, make something basically. So we don't, I don't want to do that one. Um, do this. I went to Tuesday morning yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Looking for something in particular. I'm going to do it right here. Could not find it. <laughs> So now I, I I figured I wouldn't be able to find it, but I'm going to go to the big box craft store. See how it looks versus doing one, two, three. These look very similar to some other stamps I've seen. So um, happiness, dream. And now I'm just going to take off happiness and what is the other one? Imagine, inspire. I'm just going to have dream by itself. I'm just going to drop dream all over the place, right? Okay. And put it right here. <laughs> All 
right so there we go with that now i don't you know i don't want to go stamp crazy at all so i may just leave that alone but i do want to um get back to this and it's still not dry so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make a little pocket out of this page right here because i like it so much um what's not to like about it right no let's not do a pocket with that on that page at least i wanted to kind of leave this page empty empty and this has a flip i'm not going to put anything in the pockets though i think i'm almost done wow <laughs> this tape is driving me crazy so when you have tape, washi tape especially, that does not really want to participate in the activities, you can either switch your tape out, which I'm going to try this really pretty pink one. Um, I think it'll go well with the thing. And then if not, you can always just clip it. I mean clip it. Um, glue it. Because the washi tape is still there. You know, like I always say, decorative washi tape versus... Um, functional washi tape i bought some washi tape the duck brand it was super sticky it was so sticky it was sticking on itself see that yellow would have made it pop so what i'm going to do because i'm a glutton for punishment is i'm going to find another spot maybe i could hmm. work on this side let's see Let's see. Capture the memories. I'm going to put this just like. Nope. Okay, so here's what I was saying. That these have the pre-score already on there. And you just fold them over. This one was scored a little bit off. But that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this down. I'm, and I'm using the uh, glue stick only because I just wanted to get a, a flat, a flatter even coverage on here versus um, a bumpier one with the regular glue. And I don't want to take my fingers and smudge it all over. They're already dirty. I got ink on them. So, you know, stamping sessions are always good for brandy when I get ink on them. Here we go. I'm going to put it up some versus down. Nicholas is up with me. Roman. Just rubbing this down. So I'm going to put this tape on and now, um, that cat is so loud. <laughs> I'm just going to take some glue. If it will work. And rub it down. And now we're going to cheat. I'm going to put it at the top. Because the whole reason why I was using the washi tape is for a faux appearance. Faux sounds good right now. Don't know. Fa. Do you ever have fa? Oh, yummy. I got introduced to it in Mississippi. I like it a lot. So I'm just burnishing it down to make it appear like the washi tape is actually holding it down when it's it's just there for show. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Oh my goodness. It's windy. Windy, windy, windy. I like it. 
Yesterday, I almost put out a long sleeve shirt on a little roommate because it was cooler than normal. But I didn't. You know, when I was growing up, my mom be like, wear a long sleeve shirt in Houston. If you've ever lived in Houston or visited Houston, you know, and I think it's in any state, but the weather in the morning is ice cold, freezing. And by the afternoon, it's like 300 degrees. It's like, ugh, get it together, weather. All right, so we got this, which is so cute. And I think I will just stamp something on here as well. What do I want to stamp? I don't know. Because I just lost my stamp block. Can you believe that? Okay. So we just stamped Inspire on the inside. So it's kind of like a little travel postcard set up, I guess. Um, so now what we're going to do. Do I want to use these other stamps? I think... I think I want to use this one. I have decided to stamp it on the back versus inside. Because usually people tend to turn stuff over and look at the back. Usually. I could be wrong, but I usually turn stuff over and look at the back. I need to figure out a handmade stamp, really. I don't know if I... I think I'll put just handmade by Brandy. By your friend Brandy. <laughs> All right, pretty good. If you really wanted to try and go back over it, you could, or, you know, people sell these things called stamping platforms of whatever, whoever makes them. So you could always just try that. You know, you don't have to be a glutton for punishment and try to do it the way I just did it. Okay, so I decided to use another little card for a little pocket and hopefully I glued the right side down and now I think I want to try something but I need to work it out off camera first and then try it on camera so let me see okay so I decided not to try to work it out I'm just going to go through and throw in some stickers because that's my MO at the very end and we're closing to the end. I have a, uh, what is this, a sticker book, like a planner sticker book and it's, uh, what's that lady's name? Maggie Holmes. So I'm just going to try to find a few that I like and are, that look similar to what we're doing. Uh, let's see if happiness will work. Because when you travel, you're happy, right? I know I am. Unless it's like a crappy uh, reason to be traveling. You know, like someone's sick. Someone has already passed away and you have to go to a funeral or something like that. So, that sucks. <laughs> um, to say the least. Let's see. So even if, you know, like I'm not a planner person, but this is a good page of drop-in stickers. And I was thinking that this adventure would be good, but I want to save that for later. Uh, say yes to new adventures will go right well on our page. And I think we're going to put this, oh goodness, down here at the bottom. So it kind of just blends in with all the other craziness that I got going on. I do want to kind of leave this page blank, even though it's not a good spot for journaling. Like the person would have to like write in some ink, a different color maybe. But, you know, I already stamped the bird on here. I got dream and now it says say yes to new adventures. But you see all the stuff. It correlates together. We got that and then that. And then I want to just find one more thing and we're done with this project. And then I need to cut the edges off. I'm going to put Chasing Dreams. I'm not sure if that's the paper pad. I mean, the paper, if this is the, um, what am I trying to say? If this is the coordinating thing for the coordinating st stickers or whatever for that paper pad. Yep, 
that is what she was trying to say chasing dreams let's put this down right here michigan whoever to write there i'm gonna go ahead and trim this paper down and come back and we'll do one last quick look through okay um we're back and i want to just say that make sure that you if you want to do a napkin project make sure that you uh seal the outside as well as the inside if you don't want your napkin to pull up so when i cut it you know i knew that it was going to be a little bit of sealing so uh pulling up so i just took the glue and rubbed it around the edges and now my fingertips are sticky <laughs> but i did that around the edges and just to make sure it stays sealed down but if you want to get a good seal you can decoupage the front and the back of the napkin i only did the the part that's adhering to the envelope so anyway let's go ahead and get started and do our quick little flip through um this is page one i did go ahead and put some jewels on there i just thought a few jewels not many would be cute we had this little page right here with our washi tape holding it down wink wink nudge nudge this the same thing um i think it just came really well it went from being kind of uh, bright even though this is not super bright but it's you know brighter colors to more normal I don't know muted muted probably a better word so I do like I like these inside of books and then we have a little pocket just in case you know ticket stub pocket and then we have these then this page right here is probably my favorite because there's nothing on there besides a few stamps and stickers but i like this background paper <laughs> um then we have this which i like these little dots it looks like a party to me and i like how i stamped the stick put the stamps right there then we have our flip up and normally i put the flips all kinds of ways but i wasn't really paying attention when I was doing it, I was just doing thinking one flip because I wanted the papers to kind of go with it versus changing the whole color of it. So that is our completed little process of a envelope book, flip book. This is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to snip this down just a little because this page hangs out of how, because of how I made the gusset. So you see. And you know what? I'm going to start working on some clasp. I'm going to start making sure I can close the book properly. I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed as much as I have enjoyed. Until next time, happy crafting.